today I'm showing you a full face of Pixie Beauty using their two new eye reflections palettes and some of my tried and true favorites. I'm starting off with primer using their Rose Flash Balm and applying this all over my face. I'm using my ring finger to tap this into the skin and make sure we have a really nice even base for makeup. This is so hydrating and soothing and I love the rose scent. Going in with their Natural Beauty Eye Reflections palette, I'm picking up soft brown on one of their eyeshadow brushes and I'm just going to press this right into the crease. So what I'm doing here is just using the edge of the brush to tap, tap, tap. We're not blending yet, we're just placing down the product. The first layer goes on pretty sheer, so I have to build it up quite a few times. This is my third layer, and as you can see, it's definitely picking up some color and becoming more opaque. Now, using that same brush, I'm going to be going in with Windshield Wiper Motions to blend it out, and then apply some of that same shadow right on the outer corner of the eye to add some depth. Now, just going back in with the same brush, just going to blend some more. Going on to the Reflex Light Palette, I'm picking up Pink Luster, which my eyes were immediately drawn to as soon as I saw this palette. I love shimmery pinks. I'm going to take some of their Makeup Fixing Mist, wet my brush, and place down the shadow on the lids to give it a more metallic and wet effect. This really helps the shimmer to really pop and stand out, so I highly recommend wetting your brush if you like that more metallic effect. I'm going to be taking this up to the crease, and then taking this brush right here, the E03, to blend out the area in the crease where the shimmer meets that matte brown. Going back into the Natural Beauty palette, I'm picking up Chocolate Brown on that same E03 brush. I'm pressing this right along the lower lash line, and then going back in with these small back and forth motions to blend it out. I'm extending that same color onto my outer V just to deepen up the eyes and give them a bit more dimension. For an inner corner highlight, I'm using whatever is left on my brush of Pink Luster. Now I'm curling my lashes and applying mascara. This is one of the two only products in this tutorial that is actually not Pixie. That's because I don't feel like opening a brand new mascara that's Pixie just for the sake of a video and just letting it sit around and expire, do you know what I mean? I'll use it in the future, but for now I'm just going to use what I've been using, which is Maybelline Snapscara Mascara. Love this stuff. Now, going in with the Nourishing Lip Polish from Pixie, I'm using this on my super dry lips. Thank you so much, Retinol. It's been making my lips so dry. And this is the second thing that is not Pixie. This is the Dr. Jart Sika Pear Tiger Grass Camo Drops. I'm using this to neutralize the redness on my face and give me a nice, healthy glow. Now, I don't own any sort of face products from Pixie, like foundations or concealers. I've been interested in trying them out, but I just haven't yet, so that's why I am using this. It's what I got. I'm applying this with my fingers to begin with, pressing it into the skin, taking it around the eyes, and using a brush to just soften up any sort of patchy areas and blend it out. Now going in with my favorite highlighter of all time, can you tell? It's so used and abused. I'm picking this up on a Luxie blending brush and just blending brush. No, no, no. What is this? This is their 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush. There we go. I use this on a daily basis. How do I forget what it's called? <laughs> I'm applying this to all the normal places you would highlight and just using the other side of the brush to pick up some of that blush. I pick up a lot because I find that the blush side of this is quite sheer, so you really have to build it up quite a bit. I'm just applying this to the apples of my cheeks, taking it back a little bit, and I also like to kind of do a whole contour situation with this, where I extend it up to my temples, and then also swipe a little bit on my nose as well. Now for lips, yes, please ignore that they're super dry, I know I'm very aware. I'm taking Prettiest Pink and applying this to my lips. This is their Matte Last Liquid Lip. It's such a comfortable matte formula. It does transfer a bit when you're eating, but it's so crazy because when you look at your lips, the product is still there and it looks as if nothing has come off. It's so good. I'm finishing up the look with some Pixie Glow Mist for some extra dewiness, and there you have it, a full face of Pixie Beauty. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know if you've tried any Pixie Beauty products, and if you have, what's your favorite? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!